Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Coach Ben. What we're looking at today is for all of you players that need to create a highlight video. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through using Apple's iMovie, which is free. Um, I will post a little pop-up of all the free software on Microsoft. Unfortunately, I don't have a Windows computer, so I don't really know what the software is, but it all works the same. What I really want to show you is visually what you should be doing for your highlight video to make sure that it, it's as clean as possible and give you a little tips and pointers here and there, okay? If you don't have any clips, that should be your number one priority before you even think about getting to this phase. It's getting practice sessions, it's getting game film, it's getting any kind of ID camps or, or trials that you went to. Any kind of film where you believe that that's gonna be a good representation of your athletic abilities. Now before we begin, before we begin, here I wanna go through some do's and don'ts that you should have in your highlight video. So we're gonna start off with the don'ts, okay? Don't have loud, obnoxious, obscene music, okay? Don't make your highlight video have replays. Don't focus on, say you nutmeg a player, right? Don't focus on that part of it because I don't think that is a very good representation of someone's ability. Anyone can make anyone if their legs are open. So what you really need to focus on is what are the fundamentals of the sport and your position and what's really going to make sure that you stick out, okay? Don't focus on unnecessary celebrations. Don't focus on more of the play if you're not involved after that. So if you dribble, you beat a defender, you pass the ball to one of your teammates, that teammate then turns around and plays another ball and then that teammate plays another ball and then you score, you're not involved in the scoring or the two passes before that. You beat your defender, you played the ball, you made a good pass and then your team continued. That's what you need to focus on. So those are, those are a few don'ts that you should always keep in mind when you're making your highlight video. And the reason for most of those is, for example, if you put in replays or you put in like slow motion pieces of the video, it's really unnecessary. As a coach, we're watching so many of these videos that if we really wanted to go back and watch a certain piece, we can just rewind or move the, the video back a couple seconds to watch it. Okay, here are some do's that you need to focus on, okay? Do include good key fundamentals, right? So if you're a midfielder, include in your highlight video you changing the point of attack, you making good distribution, you connecting movement off the ball if you're able to record that, good decision making, good 1v1, good combination plays, scoring goals, your traditional midfield roles. That's what you should be focusing on, okay? If you're a goalkeeper, maybe focus on fast feet. Maybe show your footwork in front of the goal. Maybe show one-on-ones, um, your, your own distribution from out the back. The fundamentals that coaches look for, those are what's gonna make your video stand out from other people that are just throwing everything they have into a video, okay? And last thing I'll say is when you're making a highlight video, it doesn't hurt you to have some kind of structure to your video, okay? So like, if you're a player, right, you can have like key passes, that could be one segment, be maybe like a minute of very good key passes that really show your ability to do that. Maybe goals, maybe assists, maybe off the ball work, or you know, like maybe your other key fundamentals. But having some kind of structure will never hurt you because this goes to show the care that you put into your highlight video, which I think is something that a lot of players just neglect is the quality of the video, okay? So jumping back into iMovie again, this is on Mac. Uh, this is what I use, so I just wanted to use this really quickly. There are a few things you're gonna need. You're gonna need some video, right? So for the sake of this video, we're just gonna use shooting, some of the clips that I have. This is me shooting right here, so for the sake, this this would work. Um, not not for your highlight video, this is gonna work for this video, but the the what I'm gonna show you is what you need to focus on. For that, what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna drag that into our movie. Okay, once we're in there, we're gonna go through here. You can see right here, you can see how long your clip is. 
You can see where you need to trim it. So we're just gonna move our mouse along here, find a video. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. We're gonna start here, control B, gonna go to where you shoot, good. Now I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete, okay? So watch this, have some music. Okay, good, let's see it again. Perfect, okay. The thing I think frustrates a lot of coaches is putting too much flair into the video when it comes to identifying yourself. What I think you should do is keep it really simple. So like a circle that outlines you to make sure that you know you're there, an arrow that points to you, whatever that may be, I wouldn't overcomplicate that and make it all like flashy stars or like anything like that, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna see this, okay, so we're gonna pause it right here. We're gonna go back a couple seconds actually. Go back right here. Go down, you're just gonna right click, you're gonna add a freeze frame. Simple as that. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. So what this is gonna show you, so if I play it, right? It's gonna allow you to put an indicator on the freeze frame. If you have like Final Cut Pro or the more advanced editing, uh, video editing software, you can actually put the marker, the identifier over the live video. You could probably do it here, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna keep it nice and short. We can actually shorten this. So if we don't want the freeze frame to be too long, we can go really short. So we're gonna keep it nice and short. The next thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to find however you're going to identify yourself. Okay, so if we just take this, we have Google open. Let's just type in, what do you wanna type in? Let's just say circle PNG. Now PNG, it's just, there's no background behind it. That's all it is. So you can see right here, you have these little black and uh, silver and white squares. Basically, that means if you put that over an image, you're gonna be able to see whatever image you put over it. So if you put it over like my face, you're gonna be able to see my face and then you're also gonna be able to see the circle. Okay, so let's just go to images. Just find one you want, you like. It, again, simplicity is key here. So something that's very basic. Um, let's go with this red one right here, okay? So we're just gonna save image. Let's save it to our desktop. Drop down, okay, we see it right there. Good. So we're just gonna take it, drop it into our movie. Gonna find our freeze frame. Gonna make it a lot shorter because our freeze frame is only a second. Okay, and it should cover up the screen right now. So good. What you need to do now is, because the way this is set up, it's gonna be labeled right here, it's gonna be a cutaway. Um, but what we want for this video is we want a picture in picture. Now here's the problem. You see the background right there? What we need to do is we actually, we need to delete it for a second. And if you're on Mac, it's very simple. You just open it up. Okay, we're gonna edit. You click this little, what looks like a magic wand and we're just going to take this and we're gonna delete it. We're gonna delete the middle. So now we have a completely blank background, okay? This is if you run into this problem. because we, So we chose a bad photo. So we just click save and now whenever we click on it, it should be completely clear. So if we go back to our iMovie, okay, we do the same process. We take it, we're just gonna drop it into our movie like so, find our spot. Freeze frame, same thing, make sure it's black perfect. Okay, now we're just gonna make sure that it is a picture in picture. And now we have a beautiful little circle. So now what we need to do is because this is a freeze frame right here, okay, you can see what you want to do is double click, move this to where it identifies you. Okay, now circles versus arrows, I think you can you can get away with both. It wouldn't be a problem. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to be doing a circle, okay? And now once we do this, we just click play. Boom, that's me. Now, what you might want to do is make it slightly longer, but again, for the sake of this video, this is just for demonstration purposes. 
showing how easy it is to make a quality video, okay? Another thing that I would highly suggest is using royalty-free music, okay? Don't use anything that's copyrighted. You can go to like the YouTube studio, you can even just Google royalty-free music. There's hundreds of videos out there. Finding something that is not going to be a distraction for the coach or for whoever is watching this video, that's what you should focus on. Make sure the music that you choose is not gonna be a main focus. Make sure it definitely doesn't have any swearing. Make sure it's not obscene. If it's copyrighted and you post it on YouTube, it may get taken down. You may run into like other kinds of factors. So having royalty free music, I think is key, especially in 2020, it, there's the abundance of music out there is it's unbelievable. So that's something to think about. Other than that, okay, this is how you should format your video, okay? Get some highlights, have a circle or an arrow, make sure it's a PNG, remove the background if you need to, freeze frame yourself, point to wherever you are in the field, circle yourself, put the arrow, whatever you need to do, make it clean, don't repeat or don't have replays in the video, and if, you're, if you have control over the video, I would highly recommend recording yourself, like getting someone to record you specifically. So that will give you the best chance of getting some of the best video quality that you have. Um, because what you could do is you can record your movement on the field, right? So typically when you go, when a coach goes and watches you play, we're looking at what you do off the ball, right? So once you play that pass, are you continuing that run? Are you becoming another option? Are you moving away from the, 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 the play to pull a defender away, which would create a little opening or create space for your teammate? If you can get those bits and pieces in your highlight video, again, I think that's gonna make it just a step better and a little more well-rounded versus someone who's just showing shooting and and dribbling and passing you know you're showing your understanding of the game which i think in the long run will serve you better so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions leave a comment down below reach out through my email reach out through instagram i'd love to help out if you have a highlight video that you want me to watch give you a little bit of pointers send them my way my email is in the description i'd love to help you guys out and with that said i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.